What is up everyone? Welcome to the tutorials on how to build a costume. Now, some of you may know that I already started this, but um, I didn't think it was as good as I thought it should be, so it wasn't very clear. So basically, I'm going to start this again, and um, I'm going to make sure I do this much better this time. Okay, so I'm going to get straight to the point. What this tutorial is going to do is that it's going to break down a process of building costume in a very general way into small steps. So I'm going to get straight to the point. What this tutorial or tutorial series is going to do is break down the process of making costume into really small steps and it will make it very very clear for those who are starting out and for those who already started making costumes and are better doing this kind of thing then you'll already have an alternative way of like organising yourselves. Um, this will make you efficient and it will also help you to manage your time properly. I don't want you to use this tutorial as you would usually, like being really dependent on it and following it step by step and, you know, asking me to give you everything, because that's not what it's going to do. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to want you to use this as a guide and you'll become less reliant on this and you all should be able to do this by yourself but with me giving you kind of like, giving you direction. Why? Um, is because it will basically lead you to become more organised, you'll know, you know, where to start, because some people don't know where to start. So you'll, you'll know where to start, and you'll know how to do this by yourself, and you'll know, like, you'll have the skills to be able to carry out this, um, uh, by looking up your own methods, and, um, you know, just that kind of independence, really. So, you'll also find that if you do this properly, you'll find your time is spent, like, much, in much quicker, it's much quicker, this kind of thing. And, um, you'll, you'll just have general, uh, overall better skills, that kind of thing, you know. So let's get going. Now, as the first two steps that I've, uh, planned out are pretty short, I'm going to include both of them in this video. And, um, I'm going to separate them, like, really clearly, so, you know, when you finish the first step, when you move on to the next one. Now the first step you need to think about is finding a cosplay, okay? This is very general, don't do anything specific, you just want to look at this in a very relaxed way. Just think about, you know, stuff in general, don't get too head up on um, trying to get specific methods. So what you want to do is um, think about what you like, Marvel, DC, um, heroes, stuff, anime, and start to narrow it down into what kind of things you'd want to cosplay, like um, Iron Man, um, in my case, Halo, um, but just narrow it down how you might you might do this in general ways like mind maps. Ask on Facebook, ask ask people, um, you know, what kind of characters you look like if you want to go along that route. Or just find something you find like dead cool and you just want to do it, you know. And while you're doing this, think very generally. Don't like don't use this as a deciding factor, just look at things and think about how difficult it might be, okay? In general. <laughs> now, I'll give examples every now and then. So, how I do things, um, I tend to just, I don't know, I'm quite experienced, so I can do this quicker. Um, I'll just look at, um, I'll just mess around with combinations on a game, for example, like on Halo 4. I'll just mess around with the armor combinations, find something that looks cool, and I just think, oh, yeah, I want to do that. And then I'll get, I'll get on with it, because I know what I want, um, and how difficult it is. Get that done. Don't waste time on it. Now, one thing I got, forgot to mention is in the comments, um, not comments, in the um, description below, I'll be putting links for you all. Now, these aren't always going to be specific links, they'll be like general links to help you out, okay? I'm not going to leave you completely in the dark because that would be stupid, but you'll have links to help you. Now, that's, that's step one. That is step one. So, if you've found your cosplay, you've thought about how difficult it might be, and you want, you're ready to move on to the next step. So. Just to make it more focused, I'm going to um, go this along the lines of what I'm doing. So I've chosen the Halo 4 combination for my Spartan. Now, what I want to do is look at the research methods I want to use for that Spartan. Do I want to go with foam? Like, um, you know, I thought I already know what I want, so I thought I want to go with foam. I know what foam's like, so I'm very familiar with it. So yeah, I might go ahead of it. Um, and yeah, I might go ahead with foam. Or do I want to use something new? So um I might go on the computer and I'll just go to Google. <clears throat> do 
I know of Memphis already. Well, yeah, okay. So I know there's something called Peppercura. Let's look that up. So, oh, I'll look up images. I want to get an idea what it is. Oh, look, there it is. Now, not all of you are not going to know about what methods are available, so um, maybe, instead of, you know, if you don't know the methods, join some groups on Facebook or um, ask some friends that already know about this kind of stuff. Um, so, in my case, I want to look up Pepco stuff. I might look in a... I might look in a prop group or a halo group and ask if anyone's used this kind of method. Type something in, blah 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 post. Yeah. And then, once I get some feedback, look this up uh, more particularly particularly um, when I get some direction from these members okay so when you found your method um, you might want to start looking at it in more detail so really um, luckily I have some um, links already saved I'll speed it on to where those links are now by now um, hopefully some of these people that you've asked or whatever wherever you've gone will have directed you to a site or some videos um, or even quicker, just look at the links I've given you and see if they'll help you out. Now, I found some phone stuff, so I'll watch a video, um, you know, have a look, hmm, general overview, yeah? This guy's giving me an overview, so, I like it, yeah, okay. Done. Now, I found what method I want, um, but I just need to do a check. There's three things you need to check here. Costs. How expensive is this um, method going to take you? Because some methods can be extremely expensive, so if it's too expensive, no brainer, don't use this method. Difficulty. So if it's too difficult, don't use it. Or, if you are willing to learn this method, as long as it's not overly difficult, then by all means, learn it. But try and make the job as easy as possible. Do something that will be quite easy, and especially if you're a beginner, get something that's really easy. The last factor is time. So, if you don't have much time on your hands, get something that's easy, that's time, um, you can manage your time well, yeah? Say so if you've got a job or something, then you won't have much time, so if you're prepared, it will take you a long time, so be prepared, if some of these will take a bit longer than you expect. Okay, so three factors, time, and I forgot some already. Three factors, costs, difficulty, time, okay? Now, narrowing these three things down, you're already making the thing quicker for you. You're not thinking about things that are going to start complicating everything. Keep it simple as possible. So, in my case, a quick example of foam. Okay, so, first one, cost. This is pretty cheap-ish compared to other methods, so it suits my needs quite well. And get batch of five, five square meter foam pads for £12. That's pretty good. Um, is it five? Yeah, it's five. Um, so that's cost. Difficulty. I'm already experienced with this. I know what to do with it. It's familiar. Easy peasy. So yeah, go along with this method. And time. Pretty time. Pretty quick to do something with foam. So yeah, I will go along with this. Match all three factors. Let's go ahead. You can feel confident about yourself. Now, it's the first two steps done. How easy was that? Really quick, wasn't it? So, once you've done both these two steps, um, move on to the next uh, video or tutorial, which will be out as soon as possible. Um, if you find that um, on step two, about the character or the method or something, like, it's just coming too hard, skip back to step one, find a different cosplay, okay? Make it simple, don't start trying to make things complicated as I just said before. And, um, and mo many people will ask things, many people go up to me and say, I can't do it, it's out of my skill range. Well, how do you know until you've had to go? Yeah? How do you know? You will surprise yourself. I say you will surprise yourself. So, um, once you've done the first two steps, uh, move on to step three. Look in the description for links, and um, hopefully you will get what you need. Good luck.